This is example 2.8 on page 76 of our textbook. And this is another um, example utilizing the mole concept. Um, in this one, we're going to put basically what we learned in the previous two examples um, to do a conversion between mass and atoms. So this is going to be a two-step conversion. So the problem reads, how many copper atoms are in a copper penny with a mass of 3.10 grams? So we're looking for copper atoms and we have copper mass, 3.10 grams. So our strategy for this, we can't just go straight from grams to atoms. We have to first go from grams. We first go from grams to moles, and then from moles we can go to atoms. So the way we're going to go from grams to moles is using molar mass, which we talked about in the previous example. And the way we're going to go from moles to atoms is using Avogadro's number. So in order to do this, we got to know what the molar mass of, in this case, copper is. So if you look at a periodic table, copper's molar mass is 63.55 grams per mole. And remember, Avogadro's number is 1 mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So these are the two equivalencies we're going to use. Remember, we are given mass of copper, 3.10 grams, and we're trying to find atoms of copper contained in that mass. So looking for atoms of copper. We're going to start with the only thing that we were given in the problem, that 3.10 grams of copper. First thing I'm going to do is use my molar mass. So since I'm trying to cancel out grams, that's what's going to go on the bottom, that's 63.55 grams, and on top, one mole. And I can specify that this is technically for copper. So grams of copper cancel. Now I'm in moles, and from moles I want to go to atoms. So I'm going to use this Avogadro's number. What I want to cancel goes on the bottom. So it's going to be one mole copper. And on the top is my super large number of atoms. 6.022 times 10 to the 23 third atoms of technically copper. So now you see moles of copper cancel and I'm left with atoms of copper which is what I was trying to solve for. So if you multiply across 3.10 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd you get 1.8 Six six eight two times ten to the twenty four technically atoms of Cu and on the bottom sixty three point five five times one sixty three point five five grams copper. If you divide those two further, you should get two point nine four times 10 to the 22 copper atoms. And that is with significant figures already rounded. So there you have it. This is your final answer. This is a two-step problem. First, you gotta go from grams to moles using molar mass, and then from moles you go to atoms using Avogadro's number.